Hello, Mouse Diva fans, and in honor of Princess Diana's birthday, July 1st, would have been her 56th birthday, I'm going to talk about her 1993 holiday with her sons and friends here at the Grand Floridian. No, they did not arrive by hot air balloon. That would have taken a long time. You know, it's a long flight. They arrived by, on British Airways, flight 239, just before about 3 p.m. on August 24, 1993, for a three-day holiday. Her motorcade, of course, left the airport. They were accompanied by the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Quite spiffy, huh? Well, even though this would have been nice to arrive in, or, you know, she was definitely worthy of arriving in something like this. Her travel party did not. She arrived in a gold Mercedes, two white vans, and a silver Ford sedan. Now, back in 1993, the Grand Floridian was called the Grand Floridian Beach Resort. And to the dismay of many people knowing that she was coming and waiting around at these doors and this foyer and the lobby inside, she was actually taken in a side door through the kitchen, which would have been totally grand for all the kitchen cast members working there that day. And this is what she missed out on. Wouldn't it have been lovely to come into something like this? But when you're a princess, you just can't walk in to you know, something this grand because unfortunately it's just not safe when celebrities come to Walt Disney World and they can't quite disguise themselves. Uh, they're given basically backdoor privileges and that even means the kitchen door. So here I am on the second level of the Grand Floridian. But where did they stay? What floor did they stay in? Let me show you. That way up there is the fifth floor. And they were somewhere up there. They stayed in the presidential suite. So their presidential suite, which back then was called the Grand, Grand Suite, is over 2,200 square feet of luxury. And Mickey and Minnie were waiting for them in the room. Can you imagine being met by the head honcho himself when you got to your room? Can you imagine the cast members or cast member that got to play Mickey and Minnie? I mean, imagine going into work that day and being told, hey, guess what? You're gonna go greet Princess Diana and her kids and family today. Wow. Just wanna give you an idea of the atmosphere of the Grand Floridian, just in case you've never been by. So, Princess Diana and her family would have at some point probably ventured out here. However, when they made it to their room, they had to go by private elevator. The presidential suite or the grand suite, uh, you get to that by a private elevator. Their bathroom was completely encased in marble. Hmm, so I'm wondering, do you think Prince Harry and Prince William got their silhouettes done while they were here at the Grand? It's been said that at some point during their visit, they ate here at Citrico's. Although back then, it was called Flaggers until sometime in 1997 when the name was changed to Citricos.